One of the myths being endlessly repeated in this inflationary cycle is the myth that rising prices are caused by greed. For example, Democratic Senator Bob Casey is running around Pennsylvania campaigning on the idea while claiming he'll solve the problem if you re-elect him. Kamala Harris is doing the same, but the fact that greed doesn't cause inflation is obvious if we just ask why prices across the board have surged since 2020. Since then, consumer prices rose more than 20%, knocking off about a fourth of the value of every dollar you hold. Is that all because greed suddenly got worse after 2020 for some unknown reason? And if so, why is it that greed was magically barely a problem at all for many years during the last decade when official CPI inflation rates often came in between 1% and 2%? There is no explanation for this greed thesis, and the reason is that there is only one cause of generally rising prices, the thing we could call price inflation. The only cause of this is monetary inflation, that is, a rising money supply, or as sometimes stated more casually, printing new money. So if the question is, why did we see the consumer price index go up by more than 20% over the past four years, with home prices rising by 50% and wages not keeping up? The answer is that the central banks literally created trillions of new dollars during that period. Recall how during the COVID lockdowns, the government was paying people to stay home and not work. Where did this money come from? The central bank printed it. There was not money to be had from the treasury, as the federal government itself was already running huge deficits. The central bank created so much new money, in fact, that the money supply has increased by 32% since early 2020. And nearly one quarter of all the dollars that are out there right now were created since then. These are astounding numbers. And we can go back further than that. You want to know why stock prices and real estate prices have been going up so relentlessly for more than 10 years? It's because since 2009, when we began the age of quantitative easing, the money supply is up by 185%. Of course, politicians are now trying to have it both ways. First, they're claiming that there isn't much price inflation at all, and Bidenomics already somehow solved that. At the same time, they're saying that, yes, there is price inflation, but it's the fault of greedy corporations who are trying to price gouge you. Neither of these claims are true, though. Prices aren't falling. By the government's own measure, food now costs 26 percent more than it did only four years ago, and prices are still rising. Last month, the Fed's own measure said there was 3 percent growth in the CPI. That's 3 percent on top of all the other increases of recent years. And the farther down you are in the economic ladder, the lower the odds are that your income has come close to keeping up with that. And home prices have risen far beyond the CPI measure. And then there's that other claim that if there is any price inflation at all, it's all caused by greed. Yet the real cause of rising prices is right in front of us. It's 15 years of money printing to bail out banks that started back in 2009. And on top of this, we got even more of that newly printed COVID money. The problem is not greed, it's growth in the money supply. It's elected officials and their friends who caused this problem, of course, but they certainly aren't going to tell you that. 